The trailer for the IndyCar video game from Motorsport Games has leaked. Take a look at it. Yeah, so that was a whole lot of nothing, if we're being completely honest. A ton of eye candy, no actual gameplay footage, which is very on brand for motorsport games. We all learned our lesson with NASCAR Ignition 21. Tons of eye candy, game looked great, no actual gameplay. Game comes out and is a steaming pile of garbage that no one should have ever spent $60 on, let alone the $20 that it eventually got marked down to. So, fool us once, shame on us. Fool us again, not going to happen. Nobody's falling for this again, Motorsport Games. And shout out to Insider Gaming for posting this leaked trailer. We'll get to that in a second. Some additional screenshots and a little bit of this internal memo that I'll get to in a minute as well. Uh, when I say leaked in quotations, it's very convenient that this trailer leaks a day after Motorsport Games announced that they have sold their exclusive NASCAR license to iRacing to create future console games, which iRacing will put out in 2025. Motorsport Games, meanwhile, maintains that they'll have this IndyCar game out in 2024, which is pretty big because there's 366 days in 2024. Leap year, shout out to that. It was supposed to be the spring of 2024. It now says 2024. It could be the end of 2024. Who even knows? I'll take the over and assume this game likely never comes out. But it is a very convenient time for this game trailer to leak. Uh, here's some additional screenshots, though. And I think the funny thing about this is when you look at the trailer, it has Gateway on there. There's no Iowa that I can see and also no Texas. But it also includes guys that aren't going to be in those cars that they're currently in in 2023 and Milwaukee gets out of the schedule next year. And based on this screenshot right here, Roman Grosjean in the number 28 DHL car is still with Andretti Global, except he, Roman Grosjean doesn't even have a seat on the 2024 IndyCar grid. DH, or DHL is no longer part of Andretti. They're moving over to, who knows, maybe Chip Ganassi. Uh, so the game is already going to come out and feel outdated before it even hits the shelves. And which Nashville are we getting? Are we getting the new Nashville from 2024? Or are we going to get the Nashville that existed in 2023? Obviously, they're having circuit changes uh, for next year's finale. So having said all that, it just once again feels very on brand that Motorsport Games is putting out a game that is one, not only outdated already, but two, doesn't leave a lot of people feeling very um, confident in this game actually being good. And everybody mentioned that it's running on the Unreal Engine, which is true, which looks great. Is the gameplay good though? And I think that's where everybody is kind of left in, in limbo and wondering if it actually is. And I think past history and past titles have shown us and told us that it's not going to be. And if you really want to feel confident in the future of motorsport games and the IndyCar title coming out, all you have to do is see this one line from the email that was sent around to motorsport game employees saying detailed commercial evaluations are already in progress, including the IndyCar title. Not exactly the confidence boost that you're looking to see. The Insider Gaming Report says that employees are, quote, worried. And honestly, they should be worried. If they weren't worried already, I'm a little bit concerned about how they conduct their lives. And hopefully everything works out well for them because this company has no idea what they're doing. They're hemorrhaging money. They sold off the NASCAR license to try to keep the company afloat. And if they're doing that, they're really strapped for cash, which we already knew they were strapped for cash based on their quarter earnings reports that come out uh, each quarter, obviously, that we've read throughout the year, and things aren't looking great over at Motorsport Games. So they're continually losing people. They have a core team that might still be working on the IndyCar game. Who really even knows at this point? But one thing is for certain, there is an IndyCar game that exists in some form. Will we ever actually see it? Will the public ever actually get to play it? I remain doubtful. Obviously, it's basically running on the R Factor 2 platform. That's why all the screenshots and the sizzle reel in that trailer look pretty good because that's a pretty decent sim, but I still don't think this game ever comes out. Let me know in the comments if you think we're ever going to actually see this game, if it'll ever see the light of day, or if Penske and IndyCar just made an absolutely terrible decision going with I or going with Motorsport Games, which I think we all agree on. So like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at BreakHard, Instagram and Twitter at BreakHardBlog.